Hi everyone, it's Shanksclamation. And I'm the Big Claw. And I'm Shy Harmony there. And we're doing this commentary at 5.40 in the morning. <laughs> yep. Well, well, you guys are doing it at 5.40 in the morning. It is 8.40 in the evening here for me. Mwah. Ignore that dark thing for like a second. Because I'm in the future. <laughs> Uh, I'm able to talk to you, and we're going inside a house, and we're climbing a ladder, and there's a wreath with a bunch of swords, and... Is that where the shield used to be? Yeah. Where'd the shield go? Grandma's got it. We gotta talk to this... This, this granny who's gonna, like... You. No, she's adorable. <laughs> she's, like, my favorite character. Well, if there was... Um, like, they, they said they were looking for the, like, the hero of time. The, the, seriously, they, what they have a shield, easy. they have a shield with the Triforce engraved onto it. I wonder how they got that. <laughs> oh, she's so sad. I just now understood your second life name now. <laughs> yeah, yeah! No! How long did I not know no, that? No, I... That's like... I already said if I had... You named yourself Errol on Sarah. Come yeah, on. no, if I had a daughter, her name would be Errol. Oh, but you named your, you named yourself Errol on yeah, second. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I named and, myself and, after... And you're a panda bear. So. You're a panda named Errol. Yep. I don't even have second life anymore, so... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyway, because we got the shield, because we talked to that old hag, and we were like, give me the shield, bitch. She's like, oh, okay. Gosh. Um, we're going to go on the boat, and we're going to look for Arrow, because she got taken away by a giant bird of some sort, for some reason. <laughs> and for some reason, he, that black guy thought it was necessary to bang his own. <laughs> well, you can just do this whole commentary by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Laura, he's your favorite little kid. No! No! <laughs> God, that's Gosh, <laughs> snow bubble, man. That's wicked. Ew. That's so gross. So, when do you actually get? When do you actually get like the the, the, the flute thing, and then you can like control the wind? And what? Stuff? There's no flute, and you're spoiling it. So shut up. <laughs> 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 There's no flutes in this game. Oh. What, whatever it is, like, like I don't yeah. know, I don't know anything about this okay. game. Like I, I only know like Zip two it. things about it. Zip it. It's 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 Zelda, and you can you do a lot of sailing in it. That's all I know. Yes. Isn't the sailing in real time as well? So it takes like an actual day to get to one place. To yeah. Go. God damn it. But Zelda days are really super short. <laughs> Okay, so she's telling us to get the hell out of there. So we gotta go below deck. Oh, what? So you don't have to help out on the ship or anything? Now we gotta go talk to Nico. What is this crazy mofo one? <laughs> You'll see. We're going below deck, and there's a guy with a candle. I mean. That's that's one thing I never made sense. They're they're on a ship made out of entirely made out of wood, and they've got like candles, torches. I mean, like it just so long. It's pretty yeah, big I mean, candle there. Well, a torch there. <laughs> they have a torch. I mean, you just have to knock it over, and then you just be goodbye a pirate ship. <laughs> he put a platforming game inside the. the the yeah, I hate these so much. You have to do this like a couple times in the game. Um, I always thought in the Zelda games there was like automatic jumping. Yeah, there is. Well, why did they put a platform element into a game where it has automatic jumping? To make it even harder. You have to run off the platform and it jumps onto the rope. But how does that? How does how does automatic jumping make it harder? Um, who said you have to jump off at the right angle? Who said it was hard? 
I play a lot of Zelda, uh, so I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, Laura just said it was hard just like two minutes ago, but oh, whatever. Okay, well, I'm a huge Zelda nerd. I think Laura. No. <laughs> Laura knows this. How come. Actually, because you're such a huge Zelda nerd, answer me this. Why did they decide to go for like the whole cartoony feel when they made this game? I don't know, but I know a lot of people hate that. <laughs> I, think it's I cool. love Wind Waker personally, yeah, so. Yeah, even though they continued the, 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 the graphic trend over to the Minish Cap. Uh, uh, Phantom Hour. Was it Minish Cap first? I don't know. No, I think it was. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I only played Phantom Hourglass, and I didn't really like uh, it too much. Actually, are all, are all three of those games canon to each other? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, if we're going all into the the theory of timelines and stuff, and it, it would take... I know I'm, I know about the split timeline. If That was caused by the events of Ocarina of Time, because it involved time travel, and it screwed yeah. up the space-time continuum and split the... Split the universe. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> no, seriously, it is that <laughs> confusing. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do I that. I love that bag. I, wanna I made it. one. Really? Well, I, I started to make it, but I didn't finish it. I totally want to make one. It was actually... Imagine if... Uh, imagine if everyone did that. And give it to they you picked up an... <laughs> imagine if everyone did that when they picked up an item. <laughs> like, it just floated in the air. It, yeah, it just floated in midair for about two seconds, and then some like awesome fanfare music from out of nowhere just like just you know just plays the tune. Reminds me of uh. It works so well for Neil. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say it reminds me. Of... <laughs> He's like, doesn't that? Old... Watch this. I am going to. I am going to pick Sword up this mouse. Totally <laughs> doesn't that only happen when you get a new item? He's like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna pick up my phone. Da -da -da -da! <laughs> oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so we're climbing right, a really so... tall ladder. I just thought of a really cool like Not as tall as the ladder from that. Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> I I thought of this really cool ringtone that you could have. Like the the first part of it would be the sound of what happens when you start opening a chest. And then by the time you pick up your phone, you can do the, the, the whole Oh yeah? Thing, <laughs> That'd be sweet. Yes, indeed. Okay. okay, so after that chat oh, with that God, stupid bitch on, in the, <laughs> the stupid crow's nest, we find out that we've got some kind of enemy and some bad looking dude. With a very pretty tail. Errol must be inside the house. Yes, because she hangs out with seagulls. That's the house. Yeah. <laughs> I would well, it's, fortress. It's, it's, it's a it's a house within a tree, so it's like a house. It's tree a fortress. A tree. <laughs> <laughs> the tree house. Yeah, this part's pretty funny. Um, that's a very long wink. Very creepy too. <laughs> <laughs> Do a barrel. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, what is he doing? He's like, um, if you off in there, if like, you didn't have the video muted, you'd be laughing even harder because he's like, oh look, oh we're <laughs> like he's making all these noises. I can hear it. <laughs> he's all serious. He's ready for business. <laughs> Waving. Ooh, it looks like Link is blasting off again. <laughs> there goes the sword. Beep. That would, that would cause death. I don't care what anyone says. He needs to fall, and then a fairy needs to come and help him so he can finish the rest. Hey, listen. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the Forsaken Fortress. We finally made it in. Can you find your way? <laughs> well, so what was the point of grabbing the sword when you were just gonna lose it? That was Tetris' fault. 
So what, let me guess, you're gonna have to deck everyone with your shield first. Like you just grab your shield out and you You'll deck find them out. Them. Ooh. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so, um This is a far better way of actually getting information because in Psychonauts you have like oh, the old guy comes out of your freaking ear. <laughs> Don't. What's wrong with this Ford Crawler? Uh, this is almost over, dude. <laughs> we'll see you next part where they discuss uh, Psychonauts here. See you later. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>